What's going on gamers? In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to go over the best defense, run and pass defense in Madden 22. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video. If you enjoyed this type of breakdown, make sure that you watch the entire video. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Roll to 10K. If you enjoy the content, Stay tuned. What's up everybody? If you wanna take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my eBooks and every eBook that you get, gets a free upgrade for four months. I repeat, free upgrades for four months. Let's get it. All right, so right here, we're gonna be setting up my new match defense. If you want the full breakdown against every single offense, make sure you go right in the link in the description and get the ebook. Make sure that you got the ebook so you can get top 50 to top 100 every single week in weekend league. So we are in the 245. I am in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. If y'all want to know where you can find this defense at, you can see we are stopping the run. We're going to be stopping the pass out of this. So you have the cover four palms, the cover nine, and the cover four quarters, okay? I'm going to show you exactly in this breakdown how to pick up exactly who you should be using. So what I do is I come out and double safety blitz and I audible. As you can see, I have cover four palms in the audibles, cover four quarters tampa two and cover six invert now cover four palms and cover four quarters plays a little different and i have that full breakdown for y'all if you have the ebook make sure that you grab the ebook now i come out in the double safety blitz to get my safeties closer in the box if he is running an inside zone a 01 trap they are in run fits and i want them within seven to zero yards from the line of scrimmage i don't want them 15 yards back for the run fit. So I want them right there and pass first, but I want to always look like an aggressive defense. So here we go right here. I am using the three wreck. Now you're going to get some glitchy pressure off of just a regular four man pickup. What I want to do is count the receivers. So from the left to the right, we have one with the X, Y with the two numbers. Three is going to be the running back, okay? And then on the right side, we have the tight end, who's going to be number two, and the B icon will be number one on that side, okay? So you go from the quarterback, where the running back is at, and you count the wide receivers in. So I'm going to hover opposite of the tight end, because if the tight end does any type of drag route or a post, I want to make sure that I am right there to take that. OK, if he does an out route or anything to that side, we're going to have a purple on that side that's going to pick up on that and everything else will be man match. So when he hikes the ball, I'm going to stay under here for a second. You can see I'm taking the tight end. You can see the B receiver has three people on him. I'm taking the tight end. We get that glitchy black shed off the end with a special ability. If you want to know more in depth on the abilities that I am running, let me know in the comment section. Also, it's in the ebook or the Patreon. They are both down below. We get the pressure on the quarterback without setting up any kind of crazy blitzes. It's two things I do. I can get pressure to the quarterback in two, two and a half seconds, no matter if he blocks a running back or not. So here we go again, double safety blitz, two, cover four. I'm staying right here and hovering. I don't have to make any adjustments. Only if they have a trips do you want to make adjustments and put a deep half on the opposite side. So the tight end goes out toward the flats. So I'm able to stay right here and I'm just watching any route that comes available. As you can see, we still get that glitchy block shed one on one on the outside. He takes his time. I'm underneath two routes and we get an incompletion. Now, this is bringing up a fourth and nine, up 14 to zero. Very, very good defense. I'm telling you, you can use this without having to think too much. All you want to do is you can see right now, now they have a trips to the left. So you have number one is the X, number two is the Y, and number three is the B. Okay, and then on the other side, we have the tight end and the running back. So that would be one to the outside, who is the tight end, and number two is the running back. So I'm going to play my same type of zones and I'm looking for the first route that comes back my way. So now right here on a big fourth and nine, 
you can see we have the X receiver, the Y receiver, and the B receiver. That's number one to the outside, number two, and number three is the B. On the opposite side, you have the tight end number one, the running back number two. I am using the three rec hook, and I'm going to stay right here. Now you're going to see. I'm going to always stay within two to five yards of the line of scrimmage to pick up on what route tendencies they are doing. I can see a tight end coming back my way. As you can see, my safety from the top jumps down to the tight end aggressively, and my opponent makes the good read and throws a dot over the top. Like I said, if I would have stayed on him instead of hesitating, I would have been right there to take the only available read on the play. So here we go again. My opponent thinks he's seen something that he liked. Everything else down the field is gonna be boxed. There he is trying to run. Make sure that you got your one inside stuff in the middle of your defense. You can go in there and pick up a blocker that's gonna make all the rest of your defense come corral around the ball player so you can be successful. So here we go, he's in a single back ace. He's in a smaller formation. I'm setting the rest of my audibles. All these audibles will be down in the ebook so you can be successful. You're gonna be able to get two to four stops every single game. We are mixing it in with some man coverage right here. He tries to run the ball and we have everybody to the outside in the gaps. Instead of us giving him the cover before we kept the double safety blitz made sure everybody was spread outside he tried to run a stretch and we box it down that's going to be the only time in those type of situations that i run man now we right back into our defense right here and i'm staying underneath i see that route and another route and he throws it to the safety that is jumping down to a crossing route. That's what makes this defense so good. You have the tight end who's gonna take off right away. Let's look at that again on the route underneath. So here we go, third and five. So you got a safety in the box, okay? So I'm right here, you see, double drag. One safety drops down aggressive on the underneath route and I am underneath the other one. So I take that route over there, he tries to throw it to the running back out the backfield and he's right there to pick it up. Now, if you want the full abilities setup that I have on the defense, drop a like on the video, get the ebook and rock with your boy. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Let's get it.